In this video, we're going to talk about why you can't do a forward fold and touch your toes or the floor if you're an active person or an athlete. We're going to talk about the mental roadblocks and the physical roadblocks that stop you from being able to do a good forward fold so you can touch the floor, your toes, or punch the ground. If you watch through to the end of the video, you'll understand how to change your mind and change your body so that you too can touch your toes and even do something simple like tie your shoelaces. Now let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. Hey, before we go any further, I want to ask you a quick question. If you could touch your toes, how would your life improve? Is there a specific sport or activity that would improve? Is there something in your daily life that you would feel much, much better about if you could touch your toes? And if you can already touch your toes, have you always been able to or did you have to train for it? And what secrets do you have that made it possible for you? Let me know your answers in the comment section down below. So I did a video previously where I talked about why a lot of people can't touch their toes and that video was geared towards people who are really sedentary and just sit on their butts all day long. But you are an active person and I commend you for being active. You're an athlete, you're playing your sport, you're doing all kinds of stuff. Maybe you're lifting boxes in a warehouse, maybe you're moving around all day on your feet. That's awesome, it's great to be active, but let's talk about why you still cannot touch your toes. The first thing you need to understand about the human body is that its abilities are trained. How you can move your body depends on what you ask your body to do on a regular basis. This I summarize as RPP or repeated position practice. So if you're constantly in the same position all the time, you generally are going to get better and better at it. Whatever your daily life looks like will drastically affect what your body can do. If you're constantly training the exact same positions over and over again, you're going to get good at those positions. So if you're never practicing forward folding and bending at the hips, you're not going to be good at it. It's not about your bone shapes. It's not about genetics. It's not about what country your grandmother is from. You might be able to play tennis for eight hours straight with just a couple bottles of Gatorade, but that's not going to translate into being able to tie your shoes. The key here is to ATM, always think muscles. Your muscles are responsible for positioning your bones in space. If you don't train your muscles to do the forward fold, you will not be able to do the forward fold. I used to be an ice hockey goalie. I used to be constantly shuffling around and going into wide split stances and sliding around on my knees, but it's really hard to argue that that would have carryover into my normal life. Although I guess as the father of a toddler, this kind of shuffling around is actually really important. And if I had more than one kid, it'd be very important. Hey, I want to take a second to say thanks to Aisha, Nancy, John, and Bonnie for your support of the Upright Health channel. If you want to support this channel too, use the thanks button down below or the links that you'll find in the description box or become a supporting member by clicking the join button down below. But we're talking about you as an active athlete who loves doing push-ups, or maybe you really love doing burpees all day long. Maybe you're on the golf course four days a week, or maybe you swim every single day. None of those activities require you to be able to do a good forward fold to touch the ground or touch your toes or even touch your shins. And that's why you just can't touch your toes. And unless you're a professional athlete, you have a daily work routine that requires you to sit in a chair pretty often. If you're somebody who's on your feet all day long for work, that actually isn't any better for helping you get into the forward fold to touch your toes because you're just training muscles to keep you in that standing upright position if you're walking all day. And if you're sitting all day, you're just training your muscles to keep you in a sitting position with your knees bent, which will have no carryover to keeping your knees straight and folding forward. Saying something like, well, I'm athletic and active, so I should be able to touch my toes easily is like saying, I play guitar in a band, so I should automatically be good at playing the drums. So if you want to be able to touch your toes, you got to train to do it. And if you are an athlete, you may have a myth, a mental roadblock floating around in your brain that we need to explode right now. Many athletes who use weightlifting to be better at their sports have this thought in their mind that stretching is a liability and that you should never try to lengthen muscles. This is a myth that circulates around the strength and conditioning community. Over the years, there have been some studies that have claimed that stretching is actually bad for your athletic performance. And while these studies on the face may be true, kind of, you have to look at them more closely to realize that they don't have much application for you as a person living in the real world. In addition to having pretty small sample sizes, a lot of these studies are constructed poorly. One study I looked at examined the effect of static stretching 
during weightlifting on a one rep maximum weight. In other words, the researchers wanted to see what would happen if you did a long static stretch trying to lengthen out a certain muscle and then immediately went and tried to lift the heaviest weight you possibly could. The result was that the athletes had a reduced strength output on their one rep maximum. And from that, should we conclude that stretching makes you weaker? What we can conclude is that you shouldn't do a long static stretch right before you try to lift the heaviest thing possible. And we should also keep in mind that your whole life is not one series of one rep maxes. Hopefully most of your life is lived at a low intensity level and it's going to be really helpful for you to be able to bend over and grab things, touch your toes, pick things up from the floor without feeling brittle, stiff, and limited. If you want to maximize your athleticism and your general quality of life, you want to be strong and flexible. You want to be able to do a variety of motions easily without feeling like your body just can't handle that. It's great if you can bench press 500 pounds, but if you can't lift your hands over your head to grab a jar of peanut butter off the top shelf, you've got some problems. If you can run 26 miles a day every day of the week and feel reasonably good doing it, that's awesome. But if you need your spouse to tie and untie your shoes before and after every run, maybe you should rethink your training regimen. So in closing, if you are an active person and you want to be able to forward fold and punch the ground like me, then you need to train your muscles to be able to do it. If you're ready to train to touch your toes, then check out these videos right here. Use the thanks button if you'd like to support this channel or the PayPal link down below. Like, subscribe, and as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.